Hello the internet, Quagram here. So um yeah, I watched this um video by the uh, Red Sun Engineer Mumbo Jumbo on YouTube and uh he had built a um unbreakable wall that is a wall that um uses uh cobblestone generators to regenerate ridiculously fast so that um even in creator mode, you can't really break through. So, um, I found this uh, quite interesting. So, I decided to see if I could actually uh, find some way to break through. So, I've been running a few tests. And um, I added a lot of obsidian walls in order to protect the uh, delicate redstone. <laughs> if only one of the Blast waves uh, actually hit the redstone, it would uh, completely wreck the generator. At least part of it, which means I would actually be able to get through in more conventional ways, so that would violate the test. <laughs> Anyways, I decided to go scientific on this, so um, I'm gonna see if it's uh, at least possible to break through. I did a test earlier and um, I found out it actually. It's possible, but I want to get this on tape. So, um, uh, first off, I'm gonna get this right away. One single TNT. Kaboom. And, uh, no, you only get through the first layer of wall. However, it'll get through a lot of wall. So, there's that. So, what you need is uh, two TNT blocks. To get through this uh, thing, and you need an ender pearl with you. So with two TNT, two resin torches, uh, and um, ender pearl, and uh, I think if you do this in survival, you probably want a uh, a potion of uh, resistance or something, and uh, blast protection armor because this is going to hurt. <laughs> uh, probably brace yourself in um, some uh, position. Alright, so let's see if I can get this working. Uh, quickly placing two torches, getting just a tick in the difference. And no, it failed. But it's just gonna have to try again. So, um,. What well, as little space between them as possible. And some out of luck. But yeah, look, it worked. I got a hole and, and pulled through it. So if you really, really, really want whoever is on the other side, you can just uh, get the TNT blocks and boom, boom, and yeah, it doesn't work all the time. Hope for some luck. <laughs> Just gonna try to until I get the second one here. Yeah. So um. Oh, that was bad. Badly timed. Probably not gonna work. Yeah, did work. <laughs> so, good burst of luck. Yeah, you get a small window of opportunity, where you can see it's uh, it made a successful wall, a successful hole in the wall, so yeah, you have a chance. But uh, one thing to point out, whoever's on the inside of this, let's just get a Steve head, oh, not me, get a Steve head on this guy, let's see. Yeah, I think whoever's on the other side of the wall, it's going to take um, some damage from this. Oh crap, um, <laughs> didn't get the other one. Well, will explode it out afterwards. Yeah, so, explosives, really dangerous stuff. Yeah, got a hole, and yeah, so um, 
Who, whoever's on the other side of the wall is going to take damage from the TNT. Our stance will die. So I'm uh, not sure how our player will survive. As you can see, the original um, iron platform is, uh, well, cut in half from all the explosions. So yeah, tried a few different techniques and yeah, this uh, double explosion there is uh, definitely the best one, but you need to time it right. Because if, um, if the second charge is uh, blown away by the first one, it will not be in the position. However, if you do set up a support wall, you might get a chance. Let's see. Yeah, maybe, but uh, you might get knocked a bit around. So yeah, um, with uh, two TNT blocks, two retro torches, and the pearl, some uh, really good uh, blast resistance, and uh, you should be able to get through. So it's not uh, completely impenetrable. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> Gonna post this uh, in a in a comment on that video. See if I uh, get any attention from actually breaking through this. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. Quagram out.